You're muted. I was debating what to talk about tonight, you guys. Um, just like trying to, you know, figure out what the team needed most and, you know, what like we should go over, what sort of training we should do or anything like that. And what I realized is this. <laughs> In the beginning, like when we did these calls, a lot of the times we weren't talking about like what was coming up in terms of like events or things to put on your calendar and stuff like that, because we put those resources for you out there all the time. And you can go look at trainings anywhere you want and to be successful in this business. Like you should be out there just being resourceful and finding stuff. But I think the biggest block that most people have is fear. And that was something that we talked about all the time. And I think that's why many of the coaches that were successful then are still around and successful now is that we like crushed that in the beginning. And we talked about it on a daily basis. We were talking about personal development on a daily basis that helped us with that. We were giving book recommendations with things that helped us with that. And it's interesting because some of these teams that I now see like popping up that are like, you know, super successful really, really quickly, they're doing the same thing that we used to do. And that was focusing on like Gabrielle Bernstein's teachings and focusing on like Brene Brown and not so much focusing so much on, you know, the logistics of how things work, but the logistics of in here. Right. And I know that I posted it in the team page. And if you were on the rise and I repeated it. And if you were on the call with Julie Boris, you heard her say this, but I love that. She said, if you are feeling stuck in this business, it is not the business. It is you. It is you. This business will work if you are doing the right things. And I think the biggest thing that you can be doing in this business is being excited and having that, like that deeper why and that deeper, like yearning inside of you of like what you want. And I was just thinking about putting up a post before I jumped on here, because like, I want to get a post up about coaching because I want to attract people so that I can invite them to like the coaching session that's happening tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm almost nervous to put up like what I actually really want to say, because like, you know, I'm so nervous about people getting butt hurt or like taking it the wrong way that, you know, this is the solution. But then I start thinking to myself, I'm doing them a disservice by not telling them that this is the solution, right? Like when I first got involved in this business, it wasn't because I thought that like six and a half years down the line, we were all going to be like at our homes and people were going to all of a sudden overnight be like, stay at home, like homeschooling moms and like being furloughed from their jobs and filing for unemployment and not able to go into work and like having family members sick. Like that's not why I got involved in this. And in fact, I didn't even get involved in this because I wanted to like earn a bunch of money and quit my job and do all of that. I got involved in this business because I had killer effing results from a program that changed me from the inside out. And currently right now is day one of that happening for every single one of you on this call, if you were doing 10 rounds with us. It doesn't matter that it was insanity. It doesn't matter what happened with 80 Day Obsession. We are literally in the midst of being able to completely change our businesses in the next six weeks. Like from today until the next six weeks, you literally can flip your business completely upside down from where it is right now. And you can be so super duper successful in it. But the only way that you're going to do that is that number one, you stick to the program and you start getting those results and you start changing from the inside out. Number two, that you actually have a belief in this business and where you want to go with it. And that you know what that deeper why is and why you're doing it so that you get past that fear zone and actually start taking the actions that you should be taking to do it. I don't know. Now no, they can see me. We're good. Guys, can you see me? See really dark. <laughs> it's not that dark. They can see me. Um, and so, you know, going to that, then I started thinking to myself, okay, well, what keeps me in a fear zone? Like what help what holds me back? Because to this day, you guys, it still happens to me. And I think that it's such like a false belief to think that just because somebody in this business is further along than you or a higher rank than you or earning earning more money than you, God bless you, Katie, or whatever that might be, that they're like not afraid. And that's just bullshit. It's bullshit. I find myself almost on the daily, all of a sudden being like, what the fuck, dude, get out of your fucking head and go invite. Like, what are you doing right now? And it's, that's just honest. It's honest, you guys. And one of the things that also holds me back is if I go out there and I start looking at other people's social media that I think are more successful than me, and then all of a sudden I start feeling like I'm not enough, I'm not far along enough, I haven't accomplished enough yet. 
they must know some damn secret that I don't know. They're posting this way and apparently their post must be magic sprinkled with unicorn shit or something because like they're just having people flock to them and getting numbers of SC like cabillion every month. And that's just such bullshit. So what I wanted to do was first admit that to you guys, that it even happens to me and you just saw Meg shaking her head and you just saw Mariah shaking her head. So if you think that you're the only one stuck in your brain going, I don't know, I don't think I'm good enough. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing and then getting paralysis by analysis, you're not. The difference is that those are that more successful than you are just doing it anyway. That fear will never disappear. The fear will always be there. It'll get less. And there's days where I just don't give a shit. And I'm just like, what if I just reached out to every single freaking person on the entire planet right now? Like how fast could I grow my business? And then you just start going and going and going. Cause you're like, eh, this is fun. And then people start saying yes. Right. But then like there are times where it is work. There will never be a time where that just goes away 100%. So you need to get over it and you need to figure out what it is that you want more, more than that feeling, like, like that you want so badly, you're okay with dealing with that feeling. Right. And for me at first, it was getting out of my job. It was getting out of my nine to five job. Now it's that I just want to buy a house and I want more income and I want to travel more and I want complete freedom. And I just want to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it and never have to worry about it ever. So like it will change as you go, but you need to figure out what that why is so that you will endure anyhow. And with that said, there's a few things that I used to do in the beginning that helped me immensely. And so I'm going to tell you what I did in the beginning to grow my business super duper fast. And I just think it's really awesome and amazing to hear somebody like, if you guys listened to that call that I posted with um, Kim Fitzpatrick and Kate Schultes the other day in the team page, if you listened to that and how you should be leaning in right now and being the light for people and how this is not a time to shrink, this is not a time to stop inviting, this is not a time to slow down your business and like just give people a break. You're sitting on the solution of something that can completely change their life. What you also heard her say is that very first year of coaching where she went from a coach to a six-star elite coach in one year, she started talking about all the things that she was doing and how she ran her business. And it lines up almost exactly with what happened with me when I was a brand new coach and I went from zero to six-star elite in my very first year. And then if you go and you listen to the Shannon Hart, is it Shannon Harvey? That's her name. She has a, has a, video out there too. It's a Q&A that she did with Sydney Moore. And I shared that in the team page at one point, but if you didn't watch that, go look it up. You can just Google her name and you'll find it. Um, she said the same thing about her business. She did the same exact thing that I did at that time. And here's what we did. We got out of our heads. We obsessively listened to Gabby Bernstein and to things that were helping our brain. And we just took action nonstop without looking around without looking at what other people are doing. One of my favorite like things or like the funniest stories is that the, when Ryan and I went on our very first success club trip, we were guests of Cody and Chris's and Ryan was in one star qualifying because I had just gone diamond. I'd gone diamond in about 45 days of starting my business. I did it because I'm competitive and we were told we could get a free trip. And then once we made Ryan diamond, I didn't like that he was diamond and I wasn't. So I went and made myself diamond too. And then we got on that trip and we were sitting by the pool. And I remember Julie Fowler looking at me and saying that she had just had a weird dream about Jeff Hill last night. And now for you new people on here, you don't know who he is either because he's no longer with the company. But at the time he was like top dog, like second to Carl Deichler, right? And so you would think that one would know who this man is. But when she said that she had a dream about Jeff Hill, I go, who's that? That's how checked out of it I was. I had no idea who people in corporate were. I had no idea who top coaches were, nor did I give a rat's butt. Like, honestly, who cares who the top coaches are? You could be the top coach this year. You literally could be the top coach this year. if You just put your mind to it. They're just a bunch of people who are out there doing an MLM and they're just taking more action than you if they're doing it faster than you. So who cares who they are and who cares how they're doing it? Because how they do it doesn't mean that's how you have to do it. And in fact, when you just do you, you do better, right? Like you will never catch up to somebody else doing them and be as good as them doing them as they are. It's always going to be more work for you to try to be like that human than it is just for you to be yourself. And so if you turn around and you just start being yourself and you're sharing yourself so authentically all the time and you're sharing that energy and you're sharing that passion and you're sharing that excitement for what you're doing, people don't care what it is that you have to offer. They just want that. And that's what I did in the beginning. I showed up in my workouts every single day and I posted about how they were making me feel and what they were doing for me every single day. With that, I was sharing my results. 
With that, people were noticing. With that, my excitement and my belief just kept growing and growing and growing. And kept, so I kept inviting more and more people to do it with me. And then they started getting results. And then I started sharing their results. And then everybody else kept seeing those. And so more people wanted it. And then those people were excited just like I was because they had results. So they wanted to start coaching and then they started coaching and they started seeing results within their bank accounts and they started sharing that. And it was just a big giant cyclone of excitement, not knowing everything, not even caring who people were, not comparing yourselves to others, just having excitement, being in it and doing it. And by doing that, you get rid of the fear, you guys. You get rid of the fear when you start having results and when you start having belief and you start helping other people. And that's also when this gets really, really freaking fun when it's not just you anymore. When you get to help other people and they're doing it with you too. I set a goal for myself that first year. I said, I am going to be a five-star elite coach. And then instead of saying, I'm going to be, I started saying, I am a five-star elite coach. Every single night before I went to bed, I told myself, I'm a five-star elite coach. Then I started saying, my desire is to be a five-star elite coach because, and my desire is for the greater good because I'm going to help people feel better. I'm going to help people quit their jobs. I'm going to help people be able to stay home with their families. I'm going to help people have longer lives. I'm going to help people be able to chase their kids around. And I would just say all of the reasons as to why my desire was worthy. And then I would visualize it. I would sit there and I would visualize it. I would visualize myself walking across that stage at Summit as a five-star recognized people screaming and yelling and clapping in the crowd and how that felt. I got behind the feeling behind it too, you guys. And then with that, I set that goal and I knew it was going to take action, and, but I knew it was possible because I already saw myself on that stage doing it. And so then what I would do is I would start conversations all freaking day, you guys. I would add people to my friends list all day day, you guys. And I didn't go to bed until I had literally nothing left in my tank to continue going. And then I did the same thing the next day. And I did the same thing the next day. And I feel like so many people in this business say they want X, Y, and Z for their life, but they are not willing to live like no one else so that eventually they can live like no one else. They're not willing to actually put in the action to get where they need to go. They're not looking at their back office and saying, okay, I need to fill three holes and here's who I'm going to talk to today. They're not looking and writing down their business every single day and saying, okay, here's what I need to be diamond. Okay. So it's 12 people. All right. So I've talked to this person, this person, they're close. I'm going to write their names here. I need other people. I don't have anybody to put in the circle. Guess I need to go talk to some more people, right? My business slowed down when I stopped setting goals when I stopped checking my back office every single day and when I got real worried about being tough love Joan and worried about what other people would think of me. My business explodes when I don't care what anybody else thinks of me, when I go all in on my workouts and my nutrition, and when I set big ass goals for myself. And you best believe when I heard Carl Deichler saying he's sending a private jet to pick somebody up to go to leadership or to go to summit in 2021, I was like, I want on that fucking flight. I want on that motherfucking plane and I can take five of you bitches with me. Who's coming with me? Like who wants on that fucking plane? Think about the photos. Think about how fun that is. Like, I hope they serve us drinks. It's going to be amazing. Like it's so fun. And that's something that I can shoot for. That's so fun. And all I have to do to get there is help people. That's my job. My CEO of my company is going to send me a private jet for helping people. There's five of them, you guys. There's five different private jets. So everybody has a shot at this. Five of them. And all you have to do to get there is sign people up and get them in a BOD group. That's it. And then have them start their own BOD group. And I'm telling you right now, I am pushing. I'm setting a very high SC number for myself this month. I'm already in Success Club and I'm going for it because I went on that plane. And so I am pushing for it. So find something that excites you enough that you start pushing for it and you stop giving a shit what other people think. Because are they going to be sending you a check 10 years from now and saying, here, sorry, I know I should have told you to do that. That other girl you're friends with had a private jet and she's like, you know, built a house and she's so fucking happy and like fit and healthy and like has all these people around her. But like, you're still sitting in your same apartment doing the same thing because I told you not to. So here, let me start cutting you some checks. That's not going to happen. They're saying no to you because they don't believe in themselves. They're saying no because they don't get it. You do. This is the solution. Right now, my life has not changed because of this whole coronavirus bullshit. I'm getting paid more than I got paid last week. 
I have people coming to me saying, hey, I think what you're doing right now probably is like really good, right? Have you guys seen an improvement in like numbers and members and things like that? Yeah, you're absolutely right because I knew and I was sitting on the solution the whole time, the whole time. You have everything somebody needs right now. Do not be afraid to go and ask them and do not be afraid to set your goals really ridiculously, super stupid, freaking scary high because that's going to force you to work hard enough that you will change your life. And if you guys have read The Power, you know your goal, whatever you have thought out for yourself, God has something so much bigger planned for you. The universe has something so much bigger planned for you. It's like a speck of sand on the ground. That's how big your goal is. In your thinking, it's this huge thing that's going to take so much time. It's not going to take time. It happens like that. You can change your life like that. That's how long it takes to be successful in this business. If you listen to Shannon's call, she started talking about how she was asked to be on a team cup team, a team cup team where she was going to have to commit to making at least SC 40. And she was like, mm, that seems like something I can't do. I've made like five and 10 one month. I had like a really great month and it was like at SC 20, but I've never been able to do that. I don't want to let people down, but she wanted to push and she didn't want to let her team down. So she said yes. And she signed 75 people that month. That's 150 success club points. You guys because she set a goal, she didn't want to let people down, and she pushed herself. And because she did that, she went six-star elite that year. But not only that, she started making higher success club numbers the rest of the year just from the effort that she put in in February. People who said no, people who ghosted her, started coming to her in July when she was getting crazy-ass results and super excited about her business because who does it get excited when you have 75 people you just signed up? You'd be like, damn, who's next? When you start getting the yeses because you're putting in that much action, that's when you're like, you take even more action because you have more motivation because now you have something to do because you, you told these people you'd help them. And now you're excited because you're helping them and you have people to run with. You have to put in more action. Nobody on this call, including myself, is putting in enough action. And nobody on this call isn't good enough. Do you know what I mean? Every single one of you has absolutely everything in you you need to be an amazing coach. Everything you need to be an amazing coach. You're just playing small. You're blocking yourself. You need to get out of the way. You need to get out of the way. The only reason you are not where you want to be right now is because of you and because of whatever bullshit story you keep telling yourself. That's it. You don't need more resources. You guys don't need me to tell you how to invite. You guys don't need me to do another training. You need to just go out there and freaking work. Work your business. And right now, I can promise you guys, right now, if you put in way more work than you ever thought you could, because let's face it, I know some of you are like, I'm way busier now that I'm in quarantine because I've, got, I've had that conversation with about 500 fucking people today. No, you're not. You have poor time management. You no longer have a commute. You don't have to shower if you don't want to. Like, you have plenty of freaking time. You're sleeping in too late. You're not, like, taking charge of what you're supposed to be doing. You're not taking charge of your day. That's why you are where you are. You have time. Because I had time when I was working a nine-to-five job and running events on the side and doing life. I still had enough time. So you have enough time. They just don't see it yet, but you guys do see it and you do know you have the time and you do know that you can make the time and you do know that you can schedule it out in a way that works for you. And you should be working in every single little crack and crevice that you have, like your pants are on fire and you are running towards that goal because you get one life, one time on this planet, you guys. And if anybody should be reminded of that lately, it's us, right? We're reminded every day on Facebook right now about how many people are dying. How many of those people are dying? not having done what they wanted to do when they got on this planet. I don't want that to be me. I don't want that to be me. There's too much I want to experience and do. And I have a big ass vision for my life. And I'm not going to lie to you. For a short period of time there, I lost it. I lost that vision. And I was like, hmm, like, I don't know if that's possible for me. Maybe this was just a pipe dream. But that is bullshit. I've seen how fast my life can change. I've seen how fast things can happen in this business. And it can't just happen for me. It happens for you too. So I want you guys to get off this call with me and set a big ass goal. And I mean a big one, like one that is so scary, but one that you can sit there every single night 
and tell yourself, this is my goal and this is what I want and this is where I am and this is what I desire and this is why this desire is worthy and why it's happening, right? And then I want you to picture yourself, envision yourself having that desire, feeling what it will feel like to have that desire. And then I want you to work your fucking ass off to get there. I want you guys to treat April like you've never treated your business ever before. Done? Good? Everybody know what their desire is. You know what it is. You guys can all sit there and say you don't. You can make excuses and like, oh, I don't know what my goal should be. Bullshit. What is that thing that you think about for your life that you're like, wouldn't that be so amazing that you daydream about? That thing that you think is impossible for yourself. Like, I want a nice home here and then I want a nice one overlooking the ocean in San Diego. And then I want to be able to travel whenever I want to. I also want to be able to throw retreats like quarterly for our team and be able to bring you guys to crazy ass places. I want to be able to bring my like nephews to Disney every year. I want to be able to like host Christmas in like Turks and Caicos in Maui. I want to be able to invite people over to my big ass gym that I've created at my house where we can do group workouts together. I want to buy Ryan an R8. I have a lot of fucking things that I want to do. And they seem huge and they seem scary and they seem too big, but they're not. And I want to travel the world. I want to go wherever I want to do and I want to experience it. Those are the things I'm talking about, you guys. Those are the bigger things that I'm talking about that you all know that you have and maybe you've convinced yourself that you're not good enough to have or that you can't have them or it's just this pie in the sky dream or whatever. But that's only because you're not taking the action currently to get there. And once you start doing that, you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it even better. And then that vision that you have for yourself and that dream that you have for yourself and that repeating of your desire that you have for yourself every single night starts getting backed with that action in it every day. It starts to seem more and more true. And then the visualization becomes more and more real. And then it starts happening. And then the energy goes up around you. And then everybody's attracted to you like a freaking magnet because that shit people want. Go write down the hairy, 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 scary dream. I want you to write it down every single day. I want you to repeat it to yourself every night. My desire is to have this and my desire is for the greater good because, and then I want you to pray on it and I want you to visualize it and I want you to go to bed feeling that feeling and wake up and do the same thing the next morning. Go crush this, you guys. Go crush this. Every single one of you can have everything you desire. Go crush this month. Set some big ass goals for yourself. Go share them in the team page. 925. I'm five minutes early. Go get to work. Good night, guys. <laughs>